with you. Well, I think I'd like to um, close the conference now. I'm sorry, I know this wasn't a lot of time. There's just no way to do this in, in a short period of time. I hope the audience appreciates that we've packed a lot in and only went 20 minutes over here. I am gonna make a call to action. Um, Fabio, I see your question, but I'm afraid I'm not gonna allow it to be answered here. Um, I'd like to, to thank everybody um, for coming. Um, and I would really strongly encourage everyone to um, join us in the social hour software uh, after this time. Let's see, I think I've got the wrong uh, thing. Um, so I'd like to make a, a call to action here. Um, first of all, I want to thank everybody for doing this. I think part of the, the thing we're doing is something new. The, the term humanitarian engineer existed about 20 years ago, but it, it's only really now becoming a thing. I think I like to call myself a public inventor. I invent in the public interest, and I try to say that with pride. I think the people here should say, I'm a humanitarian engineer or a public inventor, you know, with pride. We should be proud of that um, because we're trying to make the world a better place with our, our talents. Um, I believe many of the teams that you saw today, and if you've stayed here for all four and a half hours, God bless you, you saw a lot of teams demo different things. They all need money. Most of them need volunteers. Not all of them, but most of them need volunteers. And you need to be, you, you don't need to be particularly skilled, but you need to be committed. You have, you have to be willing to put six to eight hours a week in. Um, what we need to do is to connect ourselves with investors and donors and needs. I think of field ready as a source of needs. Joe Lear, if I may be mispronouncing his name, is a source of needs. Engineers Without Borders is a source of needs. Um, with investors and donors, possibly Leith and Florin represent investors and donors. Um, and then everybody, all of these organizations need money. Um, you can donate to public invention, helpful engineering, the M19 initiative or Respira Works. There may be other organizations, uh, Exovent maybe, that I didn't have time to put on this, uh, this list. And I would like to encourage people to donate just $10, and I'll tell you why. The $10 from the audience in this small group is not going to fund a complete research organization, but it makes large donors believe that you're serious when you've had 100 people donate $10 to you. It shows that you have a broad base of support, which makes a large grantor more willing to give you money. So I'd like you to do that. And so now um, I'd like to close this. I'm sure there's a lot more to say. Please come to the social hour. It's kind of a video chat just like this, but the audience will be able to ask questions um, there. If you want to, please do whatever you can to meet people and carry on this conversation and move forward with what we've learned. I've taken an action item for myself to try to write up uh, what I've learned in an essay. I'm not sure I'm going to remember everything. Um, so uh, now, if you can, please go to Social Hour. Um, it's a video chat system, a lot like this, and you'll be able to meet everybody. Um, our panelists, thank you very much. Um, I know you're very busy. You took time out of your day. If you could take a little more time and make yourself available in Social Hour, that would be really nice. So thank you. And I also want to say thank you to everyone. Uh,